Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. This week, Jumanji. I loved this film when I was a kid and there's been loads more sequels and prequels and reboots since then, but this is the original board game for the original one. Look at the beautiful artwork on it. This one uh, appears to be in Spanish, but that doesn't matter because I don't really mind about the game itself. What I want to do is see the board and see if it can make a really, really nice display piece. So, let's get this out of here. Get rid of the protective cardboard. This is a nice wooden box. I like board games that come in wooden boxes. More board games should come in wooden boxes. And let's see what we got inside. Oh, all kinds of junk. And yeah, I already don't like the look of some of this. Okay, so let's have a proper look around the box and see what is actually going on here. Let's start with the weird black tray thing. And is that a sticker? Yeah, it's a sticker. Ugh, God, I hate stickers. Right, okay. I think that's gonna go. Right, next, what have we got in the bag here? We have got... Stickers. Hang on. Oh god, the dice have to have stickers on them. That That's just bloody awful. No. Don't think we're putting up with that. Dice should already have the, the icons on them. If they don't, they are going. So, yeah, cheap plastic crap D8s in the bin. And, oh no. Right, okay. We all remember the player pieces for Jumanji. These things are junk. They are being disposed of and they're being replaced. As is the crap white D8. The terrible D6s just feel plasticky and horrible. They're gone. What else we got? We've got instructions, but they are in Spanish. I do not read Spanish. That can go as well. And God knows what it is. That's going as well. Now the rhino, he actually looks quite good. I like him. Rhino can stay. We like the rhino. And the hourglass, or the 10 second glass, because if the sand goes through this thing like curry through me. So yeah, I think that uh, that's going to stay as well, because that actually looks quite nice. Right, so that's what we've got in the box. Now we need to work out what we're going to replace them with. So let's have a dig around, find some 3D files and print them out. Before we do, however, thanks to everyone who has liked and subscribed this month. Loads more of you as usual. Fantastic. If you haven't liked and subscribed, which according to my metrics, a lot of you haven't, drag your cursor down, find the red subscribe button, give that a click and welcome to the 3D board game club, which is 3D printed soup. Escape party meets on Wednesdays. Now, we are going to be printing these things out using a number of files. Links in the description below. These are created by these fine makers right here. And yeah, these are lovely, lovely things. Um, there's also a wonderful 3D printed box if you fancy printing the entire box itself along with the hinges and the lovely, lovely artwork. Um, that's where I got the 3D tabletop pieces from. So I just borrowed those. But if you fancy printing the whole lot, they're all there. And once again, if you do print them, make sure you give the guys a note on Thingiverse. Right. Let's give it a print and see how these things go.
Okay, with those printed out, let's see how they turned out. Open the box. I still love this box. I mean, it's nowhere near as beautiful as the box from the actual game, sorry, from the actual movie, but still, it's a very, very nice thing. Okay, this is the uh, storage box for all the new pieces. And it just fits really, really nicely in the edge there. And it's got really nice Jumanji sort of engraving on top, which I think really adds something to it. I also printed out a new eye for the middle because I didn't like that black plastic thing with the sticker on it. So, yeah, a nice sort of gold eye with the uh, green jewel on it. So that sort of adds something nicely to it. Now, I've replaced those horrible Ludo figures, whatever the hell they came with it with, um, with these 3D printed animals. We have got the monkey, we have got the rhino, and we have got the crocodile and the elephant. This is the rhino and the elephant. I've made one look like ivory and one look like ebony. Now we have got the green monkey here, which looks like it's made out of jade, and the sort of obsidian crocodile. The other part of the game I didn't like was the crappy black and white dice. So I found these wonderful cracked dice, which I printed in uh, resin. They roll really nicely and with some base paint and with some uh, wash on them, they look really, really good. They're chunky, they're quite heavy, and they make a great noise when you roll them. So yeah, this is very, very nice. I'm really, really happy about the way this has turned out. Put all the nice animal figures on the four corners and we can get ready for a game of Jumanji. Although hopefully we won't get stuck in the jungle for 20 years. But no, no five or eight, so I think we are good. So with that completed, I'm very, very happy with this. Thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you get time, go on to our Patreon. We've got a few extra things there. You can get videos early and you can also get uh, behind the scenes stuff. Thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. Stay happy, stay safe. Keep printing.